All right, so we're gonna be removing and replacing the bake element. We already did the diagnostic on it, so we do know that the element is bad. So we're gonna be replacing that today. Now, two ways of doing it. You can leave this door on and work on getting those two screws out. And then lift this out and the element is held in with two screws in the back, sometimes one. So, way easier to do it with the door off. And if you were to do the door, you would basically lift this. And you do the same on the other side, and you lift the door and take it off. Just be mindful when you're holding it. And the reverse installation would be once it's in, you would push that back down. But it's pretty straightforward. I don't think you need to take the door off. So let's uh, work on getting those two screws out and getting it done. All right, so we're in. This is where you stop. You don't do anything else yet. We're gonna to go to the back, unplug the stove. Now, what you can do, you can remove those screws. Super careful, insulated screwdriver, because right now this unit, you still have 120 volts flowing through here. So since it's broken, you could Get a slight zap. See that? It's broken right there. So be mindful. All right. Now unplug. Go to the back. Disconnect wires. going to be taking off and you can just grab them before you do make sure you unplug now you're safe to touch just wiggle all right now we can go inside and pull it out all right guys a couple things to note if you notice your old element has those cross brackets and a new one does not. It is the same element. Make sure you remove this. Nothing can be on it. All right, so keep these screws, put them back in that hole and seal that hole up. And you're gonna be putting one screw there to secure that so now you can just lift this one out now it's the same element everything's the same they redesigned it uh, personally these things actually hold in a lot of heat concentrate the heat in that point and that's actually why they did away with it actually causes failure in those areas. So it was a bad design. All right, so get rid of this one. I like to use clean hands when handling these things or gloves. If you have any grease on your hand, it's a good idea to wipe the element off. Again, what will happen is the oils will be concentrated on that particular spot clean hands. Right. So we're going to have a screw there. And then one there. And if you have another one, go ahead and put it there.
you're gonna have to force that in. It's a brand new thread, so it may be a little bit difficult at first. And then that for there. We'll have to find one for that hole. That keeps heat from leaving. All right, so our screws in. We're secure there. Everything's good. And we gotta get another screw for that. If you can't, it's not the end of the world. Be totally fine. And after this, we're gonna cover this base. And we're gonna go back to the back, connect the wires, and put the racks in, and we're done. All right, so to get this back piece or bottom piece in, start by inserting the back or the front, and then slowly lower your hand. Sometimes you might need a pick, or you can just set it down. One there, one there. Okay, so now we're almost done in this back here. Reconnect your wires. Make sure they're nice and secure. If it's really loose, you need to take them off and squeeze them. Make sure they're tight. Tight. Make sure they're not touching. And then I like to do one final test. And that you take your multimeter and you put it onto the tip where the wire is. Put it to ohms of resistance. Put this on the body and it should not beep. Let's check that. All right, so element wires. Now, if there's a short, you'll hear the beep. So we're gonna put one lead. Hopefully you can see on the red, doesn't matter which one, and one on the body of the stove. You should not get a resistance. Perfect. Now, if you wanna check the element just to make sure it's good, it's a brand new element, but you never know. You can disconnect the wires it doesn't matter. We've got a resistance, okay? Means the element is good. Continuity, one complete signal. We're gonna plug the unit in and all is well. We should reach temperature. You have two tabs type deal. And what you do, you have screws at the bottom and you position this panel into the holes once, once they're in you push up two screws at the bottom you're done. All right, let's check temperature. All right, guys, uh, temperature, you can see it's jumping. All is well. Enjoy the rest of the video, and don't forget to check out my other videos over on Patreon. Thanks again.